So, so far we have been using factory functions provided by Phaser, like for example, this.add.sprite, this.add.image, physics sprite, and etc. to create game objects. And if we step through the code in the debugger, all factory functions do is that they instantiate a class, and then adds them to the update list, which updates internal numbers, so animations and such work, and the display list, which determines if a game object should be drawn on the scene. And every scene has their own separate update and display list. But anyways, it then returns us that class instance. So for those of you new to classes, classes are like blueprints to construct objects, just like how we have blueprints to construct buildings. And we can extend the existing phaser sprite blueprint and add our own custom stuff like health and inventory and abilities, just whatever you can imagine really. So it's pretty straightforward. We call the super function, which instantiates the original blueprint with all its arguments it needs passed through the constructor. And then we add it to the update and display list of the scene we passed in, or else they won't animate or show. And then we can also set the scale and origin to what we want as the defaults, so that every sprite created with this class will always have these automatically set. And to use it, it's as simple as switching out the factory function with our own custom sprite class. The only difference being is that our class takes into this keyword, which is the scene object of our current scene. And make sure it's imported because VS Code also automatically imported it for me. So nothing's really changed. We have the same behavior as before, but now we can add on our own stuff to our custom class. So let's do the same for the arcade sprite. We'll call it the character sprite. And it's the same process as extending a regular sprite, so I'm just going to copy and paste it and extend the arcade sprite instead. And by default, set immovable is true, so this sprite can't be pushed around. And to use it, of course, it's as simple as replacing the factory function with our own custom class again. Again, make sure it's imported. Oh, and I forgot. So for extending physics sprite, we have to make sure that the body is enabled. So scene physics world enable body and we should be good. And finally, we'll add our custom feature like an HP property and we'll decrease it whenever it collides. And now the gameplay is all weird because we only spawn two more assassins if it gets killed by a fire attack, but I'll leave you guys to fix it. And yeah, this is where you can add inventory to the class, abilities, um, anything you can imagine really. And that's about it for this one.